Looks like I got a long walk ahead of me. These settlers were probably easy prey for those raiders. Sure don't look like no ordinary storm. Please go after my son. I'll pay you with my life, if only to see his face again. Me and my son went into that town. Weird name of Silverload. We went there to buy supplies and maybe catch up on what's been going on. The folk there were very unfriendly. The place felt as cold as a graveyard. As we left that unholy place, I swear that storm followed us. We've been on the trails now for about a year. We were heading for the frontier, mister. Me, my dear departed wife, and our son, Ben, have traveled with the Catlins all this time. After Mary, God rest her soul, died, the Catlins kept me strong and helped me keep it together with Ben. My boy will soon be nine years old. I pray to God you can bring him back to me. It was last night when they came screaming from that storm. It was as if they had come just for the children. John managed to get a shot at one of the raiders, but took a bullet in return, and now lies wounded in his wagon. The devils took Ben, and there was nothing we could do. I would go after them myself, but I dare not leave the others here unprotected. Devils! Fierce thing it was. I thought we were going to be swallowed up by the sand. I thought I saw shapes moving in the storm, but I, I guess it was just the sand gritting up my eyes. I know better now. Joan and Joanne Catlin. Joanne has been like a mother to Ben since the death of my Mary. She's a good woman, but I don't think she's warmed to you much. Devils in the bodies of men, eyes like the fires of hell. Lord, protect us all. I'll give you what I can, mister. Please hurry, I fear time is running out. Blinding me. Gotta get out of here. How dare you come in here? Don't you think we've suffered enough without you pretending that you will help us? Joanne, my love, can't we give this man a chance? This stranger's all the help we have right now, and in my opinion, I believe he will help us. I tried my best to protect the children. I put a full load of lead into one of those raiders. And you know, he just got right up again. Took a bullet myself. Lucky it missed anything vital. I tell you, mister, those creatures put the fear of God into all of us. They vanished with Ben into that storm, and there was nothing any of us could do. Bill and his son Ben went into the town to get supplies so I don't know much about it. Bill seemed pretty shook up, though, when he got back. He is such a good boy. We just can't believe what happened. It was bad enough when Bill's wife died on the trail, but to have his band taken from him, too, it's just terrible. Thank God no other children were taken. If you're going to make it through that storm, you'll need this. This compass has brought me luck during my travels, and well, maybe it'll do the same for you. Nothing out of the ordinary about that. I ain't no holy man, but the paper may come in handy. 
May the word of the Lord go with you. Wounded. He'll live, though. How'd a guy like that put up with a woman like her? Usual assortment of goods. No doubt full of junk. Just what are you doing? Nothing out of the ordinary about that. That's a child's toy you're taking. I knew it. A simple thief is all he is. I think we gotta trust this fella, Joanne. Take him, mister. Keep him safe. Godspeed go with you, stranger. And the devil takes a liar's soul. Gone from here. Some form of tribal symbols. Can't place the origin though. Some bad magics at work here. Population fifteen thousand, ten thousand. 293. Hmm, what the hell happened here? Some kind of plague? Was that some kind of ghost I saw? Carrying of firearms is prohibited. Yeah? Well, it looks as though there's no one left alive to shoot. Nothing out of the ordinary about that. Human skull. Could be a warning. I've brought many a man to that end. There's something moving around in there. I keep getting glimpses of it. It is now my third night in this cursed town. My colleague Carl has gone missing. He was right after all. This place is haunted by things I dare not think about. I now know as long as we remain here, our sanity or our very lives are in danger. Well, here we are. Wouldn't exactly call it a ghost town. Seems lively enough to me. It ain't ghosts I have to worry about. It's the living. Better be ready for trouble. Nice view. Well, I guess it sure gives shelter from the sun. Have you found our anthropologist friend yet? I want the anthropologist. And I want him found in one piece. No mistakes, do you understand? 
or I will have you hung from your own intestines. Hotel Silverload. Ten dollars a night. Firearms prohibited. Management has the right to refuse admission. Strange lack of horses around these parts. Nothing out of the ordinary about that. I could sleep here. That's if the rats don't mind too much. I could do with a bit of target practice. Nothing like a good stick of hickory. Well, now I know what happened to the horses around here. This stove gives off a little heat. Not much use. Picture of some freaks. Weird looking critter. Should get me some attention. It's a fierce, ill-ridden night for some stranger to come calling at my door. Can I be of service to you, stranger? Silverload is a close-knit community, mister. I dare say rather uninteresting, judging by a man of your appearance. People come and go, but none stay here any longer than they have to. Yeah, people from better days, they would never have put up with your kind. Yeah, but I forget my manners. We live in more enlightened times. My guests, sir? Why should I tell you about my guests? Excuse my bluntness, but that's no business of yours. Yes, I do have other guests, and I do not want the likes of you disturbing them. Would you now? State your business here in Silverload, stranger. Is that so? So you'll not be staying long, then. Well, it's two dollars to stay in the hotel, but you'll have to surrender your gun to me till morning. Or I can let you stay in the stables for thirty cents, and I'll let you keep your gun. What'll it be, stranger? That'll be two dollars, please. Thank you, sir. And your gun. Thank you. Here's your room key. You'll find your room at the top of the landing. In the morning, you'll find your firearm behind this desk. Please leave the key here. Have a good night. And do not trouble the other guests. Nothing out of the ordinary about that. What's this? I guess the landlord is behind this door. I wouldn't want to go in there. Ain't no artist.
nothing out of the ordinary about that. Now, what am I going to do with this? This is my room. Another guest room. It's locked. All the drawers are empty. How the hell did I end up here? I've slept in worse. And again, I've slept in better. What the hell is out there? Nothing out of the ordinary about that. papers. to the next room. Nothing out of the ordinary about that. Well, I can get through now. Nothing happens. I do not know who you are, mister. But I overheard you booking into the hotel earlier, so I know that you are not one of them. My name is Leo Remington, and I came to this town with my colleague, Carl Whitehead. I believe he has met with foul play in this blighted place. We must be quiet, in case they overhear us talking. We were sent here on business. Anthropology. Our task was to catalogue and ship out a number of native Indian remains. I cannot say that there is anything sinister about our task. But Carl was convinced that some ill deed had gone on. We were both told to leave with the remains in a day's time. My younger colleague Carl is prone to an overactive imagination and flights of fancy. Carl had told me the town was prone to a lot of local superstition. We don't see eye to eye over our work, but after his ravings of nightmare visions, I am beginning to believe him. You see, Mr. Two days ago, he told me that he was going to find out more about the town. He hasn't returned since. I have seen very little of the town. We were led here by a huge brute of a man after our train was caught in a dust storm. We met with the town's mayor, lovely chap, but very intense. Gave us some pointers as to our conduct. Yes, they are stored in the hotel's basement. Carl swore blind that he saw ghosts down there. I hear strange things. Outside this hotel, they prowl. Animals or monsters, I don't know which. It's maddening to be trapped here. I only hope they let me leave here alive. I have been told not to stray from the hotel. <laughs> As if I needed telling. The man looks scared out of his wits. This guy is certainly afraid of something. Not the safest of places.
Nothing out of the ordinary about that. scum shouldn't be allowed to get away with that. Those boys need a good flogging for what they're doing. So, you're the gunslinger, huh? Give the big man a warm hello, boys! <laughs> well, as you can see, we don't need the likes of you in this town. We take care of our own just fine. Ain't that right, boys? Snooping around, spreading rumors, saying that me and the boys ain't been too nice. You see, soldier, we really are nice folk here, but we don't take too kindly to unwelcome snoops and gossip. So you just watch your step around here. The name's Kane, and I'm the fastest gun around this stinking hole. Well, I reckon I could take you at a hundred paces. You telling me what to do, soldier? You're trespassing on my patch. I'll blow your face from here to Texas. Scatter, boys! Poor guy won't last much longer. Nothing out of the ordinary about that. I can smell it from here. A real bad smell. Nothing out of the ordinary about... These floorboards are loose. Hmm. If I only had something to get at these nails. Bad meat. Maggot fodder. Remind me not to eat here. with a closer look. Yep, certainly a fresh one. But a week, I'd say. Good sturdy wood. I could climb that pool to get to the corpse.
This is good rope. Shame to let it go to waste on a dead guy. Well, let's have a look-see. Hmm, what are these? Dice. Loaded dice, I'd say. You a gambling man, my friend? Excuse me, my friend. I get an uneasy feeling, like I'm being watched. Everything a man could need. Could be interesting. Not my favorite of choices. Ah, good day to you, sir. How distasteful it is to have all that dust blowing about out there. I just bet my bottom dollar that a fine figure of a man like you is just dying for a wash and shave. Hmm. Silver Lord. Hmm. This town is suspicious about outsiders, mister. Not the friendliest of stays. Once this place was a wondrous jewel. That is until... Until... The money ran out. You will not want to stay here long, sir. Oh, no. The preacher? He has seen you? <gasps> He carries out the Lord's word in Silver Lord. He led us from damnation and will once again lead us into salvation. We have troublemakers like most other towns. Perhaps you might have run into Cain and his bully boys. Hmm. They should have been locked away years ago. We get a few cutthroats passing in and out of the town from time to time. You would be wise not to be mistaken as such. Uh, perhaps a shave and a wash, sir. Hmm. Desperation to prosperity, sir. That is what we have to gain by the preacher's word. Hmm, yes, indeed. Uh, dead? Why, um, that's not possible. I mean, how? When? My, my, that's too bad. There'll be trouble over that. I'll make you feel as fresh as a newborn babe, if sir would take a seat. Now, that is better, isn't it, sir? Just relax, and I will begin. We'll not keep you long, sir. I am most sorry, sir. These frail hands are not what they used to be. Accept my deepest apologies and... Go, sir. Leave this place. I wonder what kind of saloon this place has to offer. Oh, so tired. <laughs> what are you looking at, mister? You'd be tired too if you had to lug this cart around all day. Uh, I would kill for a long, cool drink. <sighs> that would do the trick. Yes, sir. 
Why do you want to know? I try not to take notice of the things that go on here. Loose talk costs lives, mister. I work here, taking things in and out of the town. They pay me okay. I have to take these supplies up to the mountain. Just lots of tools we need. A hammer for smashing big rocks. <laughs> That's my favorite, mister. I'd rather be in there than out here. A cool beer would make me feel better. Oh, oh yes, sir. Big fella. Not too bright by the sound of it. Nothing out of the ordinary about that. Great one, I have a sample of that meddler's blood for you. You have done well. Now, leave me. I have preparations to undertake. <coughs> the bar. Weird thing. Just what could it mean? Motley group of people. Wouldn't trust any of them with my daughter. If I had a daughter. A gambler. Should prove a pleasant enough distraction. A troublemaker. Better keep my gun at hand. I can see a woman gesturing to me. A gunslinger, huh? Well, you look like a man who can more than take care of himself. What you doing in Silverload? <coughs> that loose talk costs lives here, mister. In case you haven't noticed, this town is kind of different. You have eyes in your head, don't you? Surely you've seen things that just seem a little <coughs> odd. You are in danger if you stay here much longer. And maybe you need my help. <coughs> oh, that's a long story, mister. One that I care not to repeat in a hurry. <coughs> Name's Sheila, mister. I don't care to know your name. Best not to remember the name of a dead man. You're a man who lives by the gun, ain't you? You're surely gonna die by it. Don't like what you see here, mister. This town might just need a man like you. Well, why don't you stick around? Could be kind of fun for a guy like you. And you think that this child might be here? Look, we can't talk here like this. Go to the street outside and climb the tree to my room. For your sake, make sure no one sees you. How dare you! Get out of my sight! Forgive me. Just what does that thing represent? How you doing, stranger? 
You look like an hombre who has taken a few chances in that time. Do you feel lucky? How about taking a chance on a little game? We play snake bite. Do you want to know the rules, gringo? Town of low life. I come here to play a few games, meet the ladies, make a little profit. Then I move on. Too long. It's no fun being stuck here. They hung a man just for stepping out of line. If it were for that storm, I'd be long gone. <laughs> the senorita. <laughs> She's a hot one, no mistake. Eh? <laughs> you fancy your chances with her, gringo, eh? <laughs> I wouldn't let that sheriff find out, though. I think she's his woman. He's a fierce man. You do well to keep out of his way. You put down a stake of money. I have to match it. If you do not have money, you can put down a valuable. We roll two dice each. Higher than seven and you win. Winner takes all the money. Lower than six, then you lose. If we both score lower than seven, then we both roll again. Double one is snake bite. You lose. You pay double. <laughs> you wanna take the chance, gringo? Good choice, my friend. I roll first, then you. Name your price. Mm. Fortune smiles on you, stranger. You win this time. Another game? Good choice, my friend. I roll first, then you. Name your price. Mm. Fortune smiles on you, stranger. You win this time. Another game? Good choice, my friend. I roll first, then you. Name your price. Mm. Fortune smiles on you, stranger. You win this time. Another game? Good choice, my friend. I roll first, then you. Name your price. You stinking pig. You cheat on me. You swap my dice. I put a hole through your greasy little head. I play no more. Good day to you, sir. You look like you could do with a drink, my friend. Well, I just bet you could out-drink a horse if there was any horses around here. <laughs> What'll it be, my friend? Well, sir, I ain't one for gossip, you know. Too many folk around here don't take too kindly to that kind of thing. <laughs> Drink, friend. No, sir. I just work the bar here. Look after the place. A child? Don't know anything about any child. Word of advice, sir. Do not go about town saying the wrong thing to the wrong folk. The natives here are a bit uh, peculiar. Get my drift. Eh, uh, I wouldn't like to say anything more, sir. Oh, nothing, sir. Just some crazy idea. Gives the drunks here something to stare at when Sheila's not around. The sheriff's woman, she lives here. Don't go messing with her. The sheriff, he ain't too keen on folk flirting with Sheila. 
I've seen him shoot folk for less. Good choice, sir. <laughs> that will be 20 cents. Thank you, my friend. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Good choice, sir. That will be 70 cents. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Good choice, sir. That will be 60 cents. Thank you, my friend. Hope you enjoy it. Good choice, sir. That will be 60 cents. Thank you, my friend. Hope you enjoy it. Ale. Prefer a whiskey myself. Seems friendly enough. Shouldn't trust him, though. <laughs> Local bar flies. Too drunk to be of any real threat. <laughs> oh. So tired. <laughs> what are you looking at, mister? You'd be tired too if you had to lug this cart around all day. Mm. <sighs> that was good. <laughs> Another one. That's better. Thank you, my friend. I'm so tired now. monstrosity of a statue. Looks as though, at some time, it was burnt. I can see something glinting under the statue. The town hall. Hmm. Did he jump or was he pushed? I wonder what scum of a law enforcer runs this hellhole. Well, well, so you're the hero that killed Cain. Your actions did not go unobserved, my friend. Why, you're lucky I don't just hang you right now. Cain was a troublemaker. He's better off dead. But I will not have you bringing your own brand of law to my town. I'll give you until mm, noon to get your butt out of my town. Now go on. Get out of my sight, mister. There's one thing I'll tell you about Silverload, my friend. We do not like folk looking for trouble while snooping around. You a troublemaker? You really would not want me in your face, my friend. I could shoot you right now and no one would give a darn. I'm giving you the chance to go ahead and walk out of here nice and easy like. Looking for work, huh? Well, let me tell you something, friend. 
I didn't get this job sitting on my backside. Me and my men have everything running smoothly here. So if I were you, I'd do us all a favor and move on. A child, you say? I can't see why anyone would want to take a child. Is he wanted by the law? Does he have a price on his head? <laughs> Figure of speech, my friend. I would know if there were any kidnapped children here, girl or boy. Best thing for you, my friend. There's nothing here for you. Oh, Mr. Gunslinger, I wouldn't come back here if I was you. I might not be so friendly as I have been. Close the door on the way out, would you? Yes, sir, what may I do for you? Don't take too long in deciding. I haven't got all day, you know. Go take a look for yourself. Stay out of trouble, mind you. Then you might just live to pay us another visit. <laughs> Maybe you can, sir. Maybe you can't. It's not for me to worry about. Staying in the hotel, ain't they? City boys like them don't belong here. Fancy they ain't too keen on being here either. Thank you, sir, but polite don't mean any discounts. And you gonna teach me then, sir? Just doing my job. Don't mean I have to be polite about it. A lantern. A jar of oil. Bottle of medicine. Probably tastes like dog's water. Medicinal goods. A jar of candy. Box of matches. Well, sir, that'll cost you thirteen dollars. Do you want to buy it? Thank you very much, sir. Here you are. Well, sir, that'll cost you eighty cents. Do you want to buy it? Thank you very much, sir. Here you are. Well, sir, that will cost you 30 cents. Do you want to buy it? Thank you very much, sir. Here you are. Well, sir, that will cost you 30 cents. Do you want to buy it? Thank you very much, sir. Here you are. Well, sir. That will cost you 10 cents. Do you want to buy it? Thank you very much. Well, sir, that will cost you 30 cents. Do you want to buy it? Thank you very much, sir. Here you are. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Here you are.
should at least see what they have on offer. Half of me is native. Ironic, since the white men killed most of my kind. My, my, a customer. And what may, may I do for you, sir? Feel free to browse about the shop. It's not often I get customers looking the way you do. Why, thank you, sir. I, I t t t try to run a s s smooth, efficient shop here. The c customers are a bit thin on the ground. I I'm thinking of m m moving on soon. About f four years. Uh, look here, sir. I ain't against you bounty hunter t t types, but it's best you don't stay here too long. Well, I ain't been here t too long t t to know everything that goes on here. Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but I I've come to know that that they, they don't like strangers p poking around their affairs. That was once a mighty beast. Bullet mold press, that would come in useful. Instruction on how to mold your own bullet heads. That item will be $7.50, sir. Why, th thank you, sir. I hope it comes in ha handy. That item will be f f $14, sir. Why, th thank you, sir. I Hope it comes in ha handy. What are those kids playing with? Nothing happens. <coughs> the chains are designed to winch pigs up there. How you doing, Mr. Pig? These poor animals are done for. Nothing out of the ordinary about that. <laughs> I keep getting glimpses of eyes watching me. Looks like some kind of plague once swept through these streets. Ruins of a blacksmith's. I might find some useful tools inside there. There's no rope attached to it. Seems intact, no holes. Yeah! 
Get away from me! I'll kill you if you come near me! I can't control myself! I am... Carl Whitehead. I'm changing. Not who I used to be. I was bitten by one of those creatures. I have lost a lot of blood. I need blood. It has all become so hazy. I must try to remember. I am Carl Whitehead. I came to this town with my colleague, Leo Remington. I grew suspicious of what was going on here. This place is cursed. It's cursed for what they did to the Indians here. There was a massacre of some sort. The people here are not human. I must warn Leo. No. Yes. I am filled with an uncontrollable lust. <laughs> it is driving me crazy. I need blood. God help me. I I need blood. Leo is still alive. He must get away from here. Oh, oh. The bones in that basement still hold some sort of power. Maybe clues as to what is going on. The hotel basement. Indian bones from the massacre. They, oh, they want to get rid of them. Maybe they're afraid of them. Appears to be his journal. A shovel. Melting tongs. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he'd been bitten by a wild animal. Now he seems insane. Someone enjoys their work. This pig hasn't been gutted yet. Never. Th I'd become a butcher. Sorry, pig. Seems intact. No holes. from me. I'll kill you if you come near me. I can't control myself. May God have mercy on my soul for what I have become. Thank you for trying to help me. I have to be far from here. Try and kill myself.
Sheila's room. Thank God you came. I trust no one saw how you got in here. There is something terrible about this town that I should tell you. No other mortal that I have told these truths to has lived to tell the tale. Maybe you are the one I have waited for all this time. Please, don't think I'm crazy. Oh my God, it's him! The Sheriff! Quick, hide! Do you have to intrude upon me in such a manner? Shut up, Sheila. We have trouble. A gunslinger's made his way into town. I'm telling you this because I do not want you trying on your usual tricks. Leave this little problem to me and my men. What if he is too much of a man for you? Then what will you do? You tramp. Stay out of this, Sheila. The preacher's growing impatient with all of us, and I, for one, want to get out of this hellhole alive and in one piece. Stay in your room, and stay out of trouble. You can come out now. He may come back. Return to this room at sundown. I will have much to tell you. Now go and return to me later. Town's railway. Probably not working in this hellstorm. Good day to you. Do you like our display? You look like a man who might appreciate a good undertaker like me. Like your picture taken, sir, impress the ladies. Oh, yes, sir. Lots of people are attacked by beasts in these parts. I do them a good service. Sturdy, cheap coffins. Make the bodies look neat and fray. Eager fella, isn't he? Hmm. Good clean wounds makes it easier to claim the bounty. Hook instead of a hand could prove embarrassingly nasty. I sure could do with that hammer. Mad Dog Saunder and his companion Wild Man Hook, two very dangerous men from the city, bank robbers. The sheriff bagged the two of them. Nice clean wounds. I like it that way. Less mess. Maybe you'd like a picture with them? Cheap price, sir. It's not for me to say. Let's just say I'm never short of trade around here. The sheriff kills nice and cleanly. He has an eye for a good kill. He's killed 30 men in the past two years alone. The cost of the picture is 50 cents, sir. You pay me now, then I'll go and get my camera. I'll go get my camera. You stay here. And I'll be back. You stand over by the bank robbers, and I'll take your picture. That's good, sir. Now, stand very still. Very good. Now you come back here. You'll like this picture. Our time is almost upon us. Tomorrow night, all shall be in place. 
Yet I foresee chaos within our order. Chaos, my lord. That gunslinger has become a liability. He could ruin our plans. Your men should have killed those settlers when they took the child. I want you to use all of your powers at your disposal and rid me of this worm. Those beaks are designed to break bones and tear away at flesh. I ain't gonna be on the receiving end. Looks like a church. Looks a little rotten. <laughs> this will be very useful. A map of the area. An assortment of encyclopedias. Nothing out of the ordinary. I hear sounds coming from up there. Weird sounds. Something in the pocket of the jacket. A key. I guess it's an improvement on what he became. Not much, though. The frame contains a small keyhole. Nothing out of the ordinary about that. This bookshelf moves slightly. <clears throat> moves, but will not move any further. The mayor's journal. This should explain a few things.
Nothing out of the ordinary about that. A desk drawer. Locked. Wonder what this unlocks. certainly ain't a wall safe. A hidden room. Ugh. Smells bad. And that weird light. Nothing out of the ordinary about that. This is gruesome. Looks as though the bodies have been... Experimented on. Magic circles, binding an energy source of some kind. Nothing happens. You go. Just what power does that ball hold? In the name of what dark magic does this town serve? Hmm, some interesting items. What kind of sick place is this? Ceremonial items. What kind of sick place is this? Contains some sort of fluid. The label reads... Temporary halt to transformation. Mm. Spinal fluid is listed. Sick. I can see images forming in the glass. Looks like the town, the bridge. This is like some sort of spyglass. That should put a stop to the preacher's spying. This is like a kind of spell doll. Could account for the bad way I feel. I should destroy this thing. That doll was making me feel sick. I feel better now. They will pay for doing that to me. Another scroll, similar to the one I took from the mayor. A ceremonial altar, traces of blood. This is used for sacrifices.
You're back. Have you found out anything more about what is going on here? That landlord is a spooky looking one. My God, you have found Carl's diary. I would like to keep this book so I can raise an inquiry as to Carl's whereabouts when I return to the city. Floorboards are loose. Hmm. If I only had something to get at these nails. Nothing out of the ordinary about that. No. Just what is inside this case. Ah, got it open. Free me! Take this skull, my child. I am trapped within these bones. You have the blood of my people running in your veins. Together we must destroy this place. Take me far from here, to the shrine above the mountain. I will aid your quest. Nothing out of the ordinary about that. Out you come. The skull still contains a powerful spirit. It must be put to rest. My child, there are restless spirits here that need to talk with you. This town must have one hell of a disturbing past. This town must have one hell of a disturbing past. This town must have one hell of a disturbing past. Hmm, a larger version of that coin thing I found. Dig through this ground. Don't like to think of what I might find below. Oh, what a stench! What the hell happened here? Nothing out of the ordinary about that. They are the memories of the man and woman who cared for you after your original mother abandoned you. They loved you as if you were one of their own. 
They came to this place when you were but a child. They were killed without honor by the men here, just as my people were killed. That is the past you have denied for all this time. They will pay for the murder of my parents. If I die in the attempt, so be it. If that is to be my destiny. Still alive, I see. And judging by your expression, you know a little more about what goes on here. Take it easy. You're safe here for now. I know you are after that child they took. I, too, need your help. I have to get out of this hell trap. You see, I was brought here by my father many years ago. He was wrongfully accused of a murder. We traveled here. The local sheriff at first seemed to be our savior. He helped us. It did not take him long to reveal his true nature. The sheriff threatened he would kill my father if I would not be his. I love my father dearly, and I told the sheriff I would kill myself if he harmed my pa. I let him take me, and I never saw my father again. He tells me my pa is still alive, and that if I'm good, I might get to see him again. You see, I can't escape from here. I am like the others here. I am cursed. In letting the sheriff have me, I became like him, a monster. I implore you, will you help me? There is one way I can be free. Silver must be fired through the sheriff's filthy heart. This, I believe, will end the bloodline to me. Silver is the only thing that can harm or even kill them. And, as you can imagine, Silver isn't exactly the easiest thing to come by here. I need to find my father, kill that scum of a sheriff, and get out of this madness. You are the one who can do that. I suggest that we get some sleep and then rise with the sun. It is too dangerous to go out at night, because they come out at night. I guess the mountain would be a good start. Half human, half beast, the original Silverload folk. The sheriff, Cain, the town mayor and the preacher, they hold the power here. I hate having become like them. Most of the folk living here are passing through, know nothing of the dark secrets here. They do not want to arouse unwanted suspicion, so people like you do not stay around for too long. The preacher, he is the one that is in control here. He is the leader of the order, a satanic cult that seems to believe they will soon be free of the curse that binds them here. How, I do not know. I will not join them in their ceremonies. The church on the hill. Beyond the bridge is their place of evil worship. No one but members of the Order see the inside of that church. The sacrifices take place under the cover of darkness. The sheriff has boasted to me about such goings-on. If that child is still alive, and I do believe that he is, he will be kept there for tomorrow night. It happened before I came here, so it is all a little vague to me. I believe the Indians had a witch doctor that declared a curse be put on the men who slaughtered their people. The men wanted the silver in the mountain, so that in turn became poisonous to them. For the killing of the wolves, the men themselves became part beast. The curse binds them to this land, making them virtual prisoners here. Escape seems impossible. Believe me, I've tried. And that is all I know. A 
I guess you can't. But then again, who else can you trust here? Fine. I guess you must be exhausted. There is something you can do for me right now. Hold me. <laughs> no! Forgive me. I cannot help what I have become. It is the silver locket that you are wearing that stopped me from biting you. I could not control myself. I hate being this way. I will understand if you want to leave, but if you want to stay till sunrise, I will not hurt you. Please believe me. I'm so very sorry. You don't know what this means to me. Please don't think ill of me. We should sleep now. I can't talk to you this way. Jewelry and trinkets. Clothes. Nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing wrong here. I'm so sorry about last night. You must understand that I was not myself. It will not happen again. I hope you believe me. I will. Believe me. I suggest that you leave here, and I'll meet you by the old bridge. I suspect my father is held in the mine camp somewhere in the mountain. The jail is locked up. Wonder where that scum of a sheriff is now. Something feels different today, something strange. I don't like it. We should move quickly. Do you know the whereabouts of the mine camp? Well, I do have some advantages. Of course you do. I hope you have plenty of ammunition. You mean the vultures? I haven't seen many yet. Let's hope they've gone for good. It is? We must move as soon as possible. The mine camp! We found it! I know my father is here. I can almost sense him. How are we gonna get in? Looks too treacherous to go climbing over. A small hatch. Closed. That pit head looks like it's still in operation. Try the gates. They'd shoot you down as soon as you reach the top. Present your pass or be gone from here. I don't know. What do you have? My God, we are in! My father is here. Leave the talking to me. Any trouble and you take over. Father? Is that you? Oh, it is you. I found you. Oh, Sheila. I thought I would never see you again. Hey! God darn low life imposter like you shouldn't be here. Get him, men!
Come, stranger, let us take cover. But thank you for bringing my daughter back to me, stranger. I thought I would never again see my beautiful daughter. I thought I would surely rot here. Tell me, Sheila, did they hurt you at all? No, father. They did not hurt me. That fiend had me imprisoned in this mine camp when he took me daughter. They seem to want us to repair the mines so they can use outsiders to sell the silver for them. They seem very hesitant to actually come here themselves. Some years ago the mine collapsed. They want to get it working again. I was told a lot of silver nuggets were dumped down there for some reason. A lot of the men here talk of some kind of ghost that lives in the mines. You'll need the key that opens that door. We have a few, and I don't have one. No, they were hoping to get the ore again, as well as the silver they dumped long ago. Good luck, son. We'll be right here if you need us. Someone's hidden a key inside. pair of thick gloves. Getting anything clean here seems out of the question. I need to stay here with my father in case the sheriff comes looking for me. You should go into the mines, find that silver. That is our only hope against them. Good luck. Thick wooden doors. I'm not gonna break through them in a hurry. It's all locked up. Can be pushed to and fro. Nothing out of the ordinary about that. Nothing happens. If I could get a rope attached to the rafters, I could swing across. I can see a yellow substance lining the wall beyond. Can't reach it, though. It's sulfur. Through the darkness I see you. I am everlasting and ever hungry. That thing is crazy. My bullets will have no effect against such a monster. Nothing out of the ordinary about that. Come, 
come into my arms. I smother you with my claws. I drink you with my fangs. I hunger. We want all. We need you inside of me. Then I be strong enough to escape. We are all here. We squat in darkness. Long ago was we trapped here. The preacher is the one we hate. Dynamite. I could blow their town to hell. What's this? At last I found the silver. It must have been dumped here and lost. Nothing like a good stick of hickory. Nothing out of the ordinary about that. We are almost at the shrine. I can feel the pull of the spirit world. They are calling me to be with them. seems to be drawing me in. This place is sacred. Must have been the shrine for the people of the mountain before the townsfolk arrived here. Nothing out of the ordinary about that. I am told of your quest, little mortal. The evil that I thought once imprisoned is again on the move. I am old and weak, little man. I yearn for the comfort of eternal sleep, yet once again I am summoned from my slumber. In a time that was very different from now, many, many seasons ago, we walked proud. We hunted with the men. We fed willingly on one another. It was good. It was the way of things. There was balance then. Then came the white man. The balance was tipped. They could not understand our ways. Now the days of my kind are all but a memory. A tale to be told. This is my home, little man. Also my resting place. The land of the spirits. Men visit such a place in their dreams. It is not a place for the living. You should be gone, little man. I am but a dream, little one. Perhaps men still dream of me. Perhaps they do not. The world has changed. I am Wolfstar, Lord of the Skydy. Tell me of your quest, little one, as I grow weary of this wake. I will destroy this nest of evil. 
Great Grandfather Buzzard will beat his mighty wings and raise the desert sands against the invaders. The Wind Walkers will pick the flesh from their bones. They will know my true wrath. Then I shall sleep. I will give you time to find the child. Then you must go. Be gone, little man, and never return to this place again. Gunslinger! I know that you can hear me! You're trapped! You hear me? Trapped! Me and my men have you surrounded! I want you to put your guns into the cart and push it out to us. Then I want you to follow. Failure to do as I say, and you can say goodbye to this pair of traitors. He will kill us anyway. Better get rid of this. He's dead. The sheriff shot him. Me too, Silver Bullet. I'm dying. Me and my father. At last, we are free of all madness. Locked up real good and solid. What are the odds of this not being exactly the most holiest of places? Wonder what surprises this place holds. Remarkably, it's unlocked. Hmm, nice touch. This must belong to the preacher. Better be careful around here. That beast is gonna make sure someone knows I'm in here. Pulling that down would shut that bird up. This chair is attached to the wall. It could be moved. Hmm. What have we found here? What have we here? Looks like ceremonial robes. Looks very interesting. Nothing of any real importance. A map of the heavens with notes. Must be worth a fortune, a device like that.
Yes, sir, what may I do for you? Don't take too long in deciding. I haven't got all day, you know. Much, sir. Here you are. Thank you very much, sir. Here you are. Thank you very much, sir. Here you are. Railway. Probably not working in this hellstorm. Welcome to hell. They lead off into that storm. I'd better know where I'm heading if I go in that direction. Nah, this sand is blinding me. Gotta get out of here. This thing must have been derailed by the storm. Wonder how long it's been here. The boiler, it's closed. The boiler, open. I wonder if it still works. There's enough coal here to get that boiler going again. is still alive. I should kill you right now. No. Death would be too easy an escape for you. Gather your foot soldiers together for the last time, 
and stop him from reaching the church. Dressed up for a witch hunt. Ah, that's better. Ah, that's better. Ah, that's better. Ah, that's better. That's better. Better get rid of this. Come on, kid, I'm getting you out of here.
hell are you doing in here? I don't like anyone messing with my woman. You are history, my friend. Scum. Dare meddle with my plans. Well, look at here, men. Looks like we have found our killer. Shot clean through the head. I don't like killers in my town. You are history, my friend. Thank <laughs> you. 